here i need your participation look at this there is a company which has made or achieved a sales of 100 crore by incurring expenses of 60 crore and reporting profit of 40 crores so now i have a question for you the question is what is the cash generated by this business sales is 100 expenses are 60 profit is 40 so what is the cash generated by this business the cash generation can be equal to profit when they have realized their entire sales of 100 crore and met their or paid their entire expenses of 60 crore it means 100 crore had come in and 60 crore had gone out so the profit will be equal to cash but it can also be greater than 40 crore it can also be less than 40 crore it can be greater than 40 crore when you have realized the entire sales and you have paid only part of the expenses so here you have cash as 70 crore and it can be less than 40 crore when you have realized only the part of the sales and you have paid uh, full expenses okay or most of the expenses so you have realized only 70 crore but you have paid entire 60 crore so here your cash is only 10 crore okay and this can also undergo a change this cash of 70 crore can come below 40 crore it can even come below uh, i mean it can come below 70 crore it can even come below 40 crore and this cash of 10 crore can go about 10 crore it can even go above 40 crore how let's say a loan has been repaid 40 crore some missionary has been purchased for 20 crore it means out of 70 60 crore gone so what is the cash position it is now only 10 crore and in the second scenario let's say a debenture has been raised money has come in for 30 crore some asset has been sold 20 crore money had come in uh, equity uh, money had come in uh, from owners 20 crore so we have 70 crore money coming in so now the total position is 80 crore so what we have to understand is in business cash is not generated merely by profit it is from various activities we call them as cash flows from operating activity cash flows from investment activity and cash flows from financing activity look at this 70 crore this is a cash flow from operations operating activity whereas this 40 crore repaid is a result of financing activity they raised finance in the past they are repaying that now financing activity look at this missionary purchase 20 crore they are investing their money it's an investment activity whereas this debenture of 30 crore money coming in is a result of financing activity and they have sold assets 20 crore they are disposing of their investments as a result of investment activity whereas this equity 20 crore which had come in is a result of financing activity and finally the 10 crore cash is a result of operating activity so what we can infer is in business cash can come in and go out under three activities operating activity investment activity and financing activity so in a year if you capture all this cash flows from operating investment and financing activity and if you total them you get to know what is the cash generated during the year and with this if you add the opening cash and equivalents automatically you will get the closing cash position closing cash and cash equivalence position and this is something known as uh, abridged cash flow statement so what's happening here i'm capturing the cash flows from operating activity investment activity financing activity i'm aggregating them so that i can get the cash generated during the year and with this when i add the opening cash balance automatically i get the closing cash balance okay so this statement by having a look at this statement i'll get to know from where money had come and where money had gone out okay and it also acts as a reconciliation statement because by adding the cash generated during the year with the opening balance i get the closing balance let me show you a real life cash flow statement it will look something like this with uh, many line items and subline items but uh, being part of bank executive i mean being part of bank uh, your focus should be on uh, how to read the cash flow statement because the preparation of cash flow statements are taken care by accountants so you should know where you have to keep your eyes okay look at this cash flow from operating activity it's a positive figure of 460600 look at this investment activity it is a negative figure of 175000 so the positive figure of 460600 from operating activity means they've run their business for one full year and from operations they've made a positive cash 
whereas investment activity negative figure means they have paid 1,75,000 cash had gone out to the extent of 1,75,000 because they have made some investments so some other assets have come in so if you want to know what are those assets you have to go back to the statement look they have purchased plant and machinery they have purchased some investments then look at the next key item that is investment activity sorry financing activity the next key item is financing activity and it is a negative cash of 270000 it means to that extent cash had gone out and if you want to know what are those components you can go to the cash flow statement and you can see and now if you add all the three you get to know what is the cash generated during the year and it's 15600 so when I look at this, what I infer is they made 4,60,600 from their operations and they used their own money for making some investments and despite spending on investment, they had so much of money. So they are uh, very easily settling their financial obligations uh, and uh, despite all this, they still have positive cash of 15,600. And uh, here we need not worry because they made so much of money, but everything has gone out. We need not worry because look at their opening cash and cash equivalent position. They already had 1,50,000. So this 1,50,000 plus what they've made during the year, if you add, still at the end of the year, their position is really comfortable. It's actually better than the previous year. Previous year it was 1,50,000 and at the end of the current year it is 1,65,600. So when I look at the cash flow statement, things are looking too good. But you should also be very uh, cautious because sometimes businesses will be showing good amount of profits, but cash flows from operating activity will be negative. It's because most of their sales are logged with the customers or most of the money is uh, logged in the inventories. So because of that cash flows are not happening, so they'll be struggling. So for a healthy business, what is required is a positive cash flow from operating activity. Look at their investment activities. Is it positive or negative? Positive means they are disposing of their investments. They are getting some money out of investments. If they are disposing of their investments, if they are selling their investments, what assets are they selling? Are they selling the core assets or non-core assets? If they are selling the core assets, then the question of going concern will arise. Because by selling their core assets, how they will continue their operations in future? Or if they are selling their non-core assets, it's a good strategy. Because they are infusing liquidity into the business by disposing of the assets which are not required for running the show. Look at their financing activity. If it is a positive figure, it means money had come into the business. From whom that money had come? Is it from owners? Is it from outsiders? What are the terms? All those can be explored and it can be understood. So these kind of critical information are possible by going through cash flow statement. Okay. Are you a bank executive looking to advance your career in credit or advance profile in SME and corporate banking? Do you want to learn the pre-sanctioned credit and financial analysis skills that are essential for success in this field? If so, then our course, Credit and Financial Analysis Mastery Bundle, for bankers, is for you. In this comprehensive and structured online course, you'll learn the pre-sanctioned credit underwriting process, covering credit analysis and financial analysis specific to SME and corporate banking credit. You'll be guided through each and every step of the process, from understanding the basics of credit analysis to assessing term loans as a banker. With 15 modules and a variety of ebooks and other resources, you'll have everything you need to master this highly sought-after skill. Our course is pre-recorded, so you can access it anytime, at your own pace, without disturbing your official working hours. Plus, you can access it as many times as you'd like and even download it to your mobile device for offline viewing. When you complete the course, you'll receive a certificate of completion. And with lifetime Q&A support through our Telegram group, you'll have access to the guidance and support you need to succeed. Don't miss this opportunity to advance your career in credit and financial analysis. Enroll in our course today and take the first step towards a successful banking career.